my name is uh, Catherine Ray, but I go by Kathy Ray. I'm the Learning Center Coordinator for the Adult Learning Center for the Sun Lake Board of Education. And the uh, Sun Lake Board of Education, I've been working with them for uh, 19 years, and I started off as secretary, learned my way up, and uh, started helping the students achieve their grade 12 with the WASA and the uh, Lakehead Board Adult Learning Center. And uh, we take uh, from 18 to whatever age uh, they want to come and get the grade 12. And uh, so far, um, the Gabby's Memorial Learning Center has uh, the highest rate of getting adult uh, graduates. I think we had m more than 150 now since it started uh, about 29 years ago. So, and then from there, we also uh, take training courses like electric electrical training and plumbing training in oil and filter training. So the students also have an option of uh, graduating grade 12 and then jumping into a college training program. With the grade 12s, we also work with NNEC and OSCE from Thunder Bay and uh, they come here twice a year and uh, we help students try and get their grade 12 so they could jump into a fall and winter program with their organizations, like uh, Confederation College or Nipissing teachers. Any, anything the students want to try and get to get more educated, to climb, to reach their goals, their dreams. So we, we also help them here at the Learning Center to uh, uh, do their applications to go out for school. So that's uh, one of our highest goals is to help the students succeed. So that's what the basically learning center what I do is help other people even beside, like we have some 15 year olds at the high school, they need an extra carrot, they'll come to the learning center and then we help them. And then uh, there's a student that comes home from out, out there, like Thunder Bay, so called the river, and they're only two credits shy of graduating, but they want to go back and graduate with their classmates, then we'll give them the option to finish their, for their credits here. Then we send their transcripts out to the DFC or Pelican Falls or Queen Elizabeth on Sulukur. And then we'll say, okay, do you want to graduate? Here's your transcript. Okay, we'll let them graduate with the class. Yeah, so. That's what we do here, we try to help every one of them that want this and that to graduate. So that's why we're here. How would you say you incorporate kind of the, the culture of the community and um, that into the students learning? We, we have one course and she has a course here too at WASA. And the Lakehead Board has WASA, I mean, Lakehead Board has a credit that would be history and geography, eh? That would connect with the culture. And uh, in the summer, uh, we have a summer camp for ages uh, 4 to 13, morning and afternoon classes. And for well, our language, it's very important for us to know it because uh, it's like they said, uh, it's, it's um, not many students speak it, like me, I don't really speak it, but I still speak it sometimes. Eh? And then for the non-native uh, teachers or for anybody who wants to learn native language, we have evening classes uh, for, for 20 weeks, two times a night, two, uh, two times a night, <laughs> two times a week. <laughs> I have three instructors helping me when I, we do have native language. And that's Carmen McPherson, Carol, and Peter, and Tina Kakapino, and myself. And we always make sure that we keep our notes updated and uh, that we copy. There's a Sandy Lake dialect book 
and um, we we make copies and we give it to each student that come that want to learn. Also with pictures, and we have we made four books each each time we have uh, native language classes. We make four books. We also have interviews with elders, and uh, we do a video conferencing. Then we translate their uh, uh, stories into English, and then we make an English book out of that um, uh, video conferencing we do with the elders. So we, I think we did uh, 16 altogether, 16 videos altogether from uh, 2013. So 16 books? Yeah. <laughs> so those ones, after they're done and published, and the videos, they go to the elementary school and the high school. So, yeah. so you're helping them with building, mm -hmm. building resources as well for the schools? Yes. Awesome. awesome. So from your perspective then, what uh, does Indigenous education mean to you? I think it's very important right now, and I would continue to like we're going to be doing um, surveys later on, I think probably after the new year. Same thing like we did with the elder interviews, but we're going to, we were talking, me, Carmen and Carol, about uh, visualizing different things so the kids could concept it and have it in their head. Eh? Same with the elders too, eh? keep, keep their voices to be heard and not to be forgotten what they want us to teach our kids. So that's very, for us, that's very important to keep their words and their wisdom alive, eh? to teach the younger people. So that's, uh, that's going to be ongoing, I think. Hopefully, yeah, I'd like to see that and uh, to keep up with the native language too, eh? over here with this portable tool. Uh, evening classes fun. Where do you hope to see Indigenous education in the next 10 years? Maybe um, here in Sandy Lake as a community, but then maybe broader picture as well. Like, where do you hope it's going? I, I, I think I already, from five years, from 2013, there was never a native language eh? class here at the Learning Center. And uh, I think people are starting to move up more in teaching it. So I'll say the 10 years, hopefully everything, like they have K4 and K5 and uh, grade one, I think already placed in native language at the school. They have an English uh, curriculum and they also have a native language immersion. So the, they're already starting to learn the culture, speaking and teaching. Sand Lake is really working together on achieving cultural wellness. And educators, we work at educating the kids by speaking it. Eh? Yeah, so that's what I see in 10 years. Uh, maybe we'll get our language back. Maybe not 100%, but maybe between 80 to 100%. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get our language back and do everything as a culture and as a whole. Eh? It's kind of the holistic community. As a holistic, yeah. yeah so yeah, it's kind of like a, a good place to be if you want to learn lots of stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's always something, a new learning experience there. It's just especially when they see hockey players eh, from out there, <laughs> they get excited. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, well, is there anything else that you wanted to add at all? There's, uh, the Learning Center also offers uh, training abilities. Uh, training programs with the colleges and we try to provide what we can help the students if they don't want to go out for school. We try to bring the out for school here so they could train, eh? Mm -hmm. So that way their, uh, their, their way to help diploma doesn't just get collect dust. So we try to tell them, you don't, just because you have your grade 12, it opens doors for you and uh, trying to date most of them. There's just one grade 12 student there. Uh, he never left Sandy Lake before, and he only he needed only one easy credit. So I kept bugging him and bugging him. Finally, he did it. Then he went out for school. I, I helped him. I never knew that he wasn't a Sandy Lake band member, but he was a band member from out there. So I, I helped him get his education. I also helped him get his uh, college <laughs> and university. Mm -hmm. 
And I thought, you'll come back here. Never came back. <laughs> you opened too many doors. I opened too many doors for that guy. And he was brainy, smart, so I thought he would be good for the band office. <laughs> so that, if I, oh, I didn't know this thing. <laughs> so, and most of them stay out there. They don't come out. They don't come back. Some do. And that, that's really good because we need more educators in San Diego. Eh? And then I said, oh, no, I get some uh, learning experience here first before I come back. But uh, all of a sudden they say, oh, no, I love my job and I don't want to come back. <laughs> uh, just, just like me, that's uh, for me and Marion, we've been here together. We, we grew old, old with our learning center. And so mm -hmm. we already know what to expect, what to do to help these students strive for success. But uh, we tend to do more sometimes. Uh, it's never enough sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it's good. The learning center is good for everybody. We get our uh, first is with Wasa. It's, it's uh, located in Sulcote, Ontario. The Lakehead Board is located on 125 South Lily Street in Thunder Bay. Uh, so that's how we get our distance education here. So we, we each fax the Facts are work out. It used to be express where we used to put it on a plane, but then they started losing it. The airways, we know we send it out, then they would lose it. So we started faxing copies of it before we fax it out. So uh, now she does hers through email and uh, she does hers through fax though. But then there's many changes to it. Eh? They're starting to go on the computer, e learning they call it. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of us here are not con contrary with the computers. Like some, most of them are computer illiterate, but they could use an iPod, but it's not a keyboard. And so when you go on a regular computer, they say, uh, can't do it then. Or the freeze will freeze by the time they finish their thing. They, they, they don't know how to save their work, and then, and then it freezes, and they have to reboot it, and their work is lost, even mm -hmm. though we try to tell them, save your work every five minutes. But they didn't put into mind. So we just gave them hard copies, told them we fax it all like that. Hopefully, these young people come on a computer. 